Today I'm going to show you how to create an image of a hand holding a document. So there's a few different things about this um, that, that I want to talk about. Uh, I guess first the, the logical place to start is with the, the hand cutouts and the, you know, that's definitely an asset that, uh, that you'll want for this. And actually um, I want to show you what I started with here. So let me just show you what um, what a couple of the pictures are. Now uh, I have all these hand cutouts and this is in the, the bonus pack of the hands um, that's in uh, the bundle that I have. Um, but I have a version of that same hand um, already holding a sheet of paper and then one with it, with it removed. Um, and then the reason I like having that already removed is you can change then what that document might be. So you could change from a document to a folder um, or whatever. And then there are a bunch of other um, you know, interesting hand shots, but uh, this is, I'd say this is one of my favorite ones. Um, so what you need there, it's a, it's a hand so that with a picture taken of it, and then you know, the edges traced out and removed, um, and then it's saved as a PNG. Um, so that's uh, that's one element, and there's a lot of interesting things you can do with hands. I have a few other lessons. Um, let's talk about some of the other elements of um, of the slide that I created. So um, I was using this as a as a scene um, to create an establishing shot, like a zoom in of a document to um, start off a course. So let's say it was going over what to do when you get audited. Um, so I put the uh, the notification there. Let me actually remove this. Um, so I have this this title, and then I had a bunch of other information there that started to, to cover what was in the document, but um, I wanted it blurred out, uh, and blurring is not the easiest thing to do in PowerPoint. So um, what I did is I created this this semi-transparent box. You'll see, had I left it had I left it there, your eyes would have been drawn to start reading the text, and I didn't actually want people to read that text. Um, so what I did is I just um, let me just start over. Um, let's just insert a shape. Um, a rectangle and drop it over the text that you want to cover up um, and then go to format it and um, what I did is I made it white so make it white and then let me move that out of the way and then I just played with the transparency you know, there you can see all the way through it and there it starts to fade away and I just picked a level where I thought okay somebody can see text is there but they're not going to read it um, and that looks pretty good um, I want to get rid of that the outline and then it blends right in there um, so, so that works pretty well. Um, now, the other thing that'll be important is um, you know, obviously you have this this hand here, and the way that it holds the the sheet of paper. You'll need to tweak. Uh, let's move that hand to the front. Um, you need to tweak it a little bit, get the rotation right so that it lines up. You can either rotate the paper or you can rotate the hand, um, and just I know get it. So, oh, that looks pretty good. Oh, you can you know nudge it up and down, left and right, figure it out, but that actually looks that looks decent. Um, so yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting way to create an establishing shot. Establishing shot. All you need to do um, is you know create that sheet of paper. Um, that's just a, a white box. Um, uh, uh, create whatever the text is. If you want to de-highlight it or you know, de-emphasize it, C create that uh, box um, that's white over the text. Make it semi-transparent and then align your hand cutout um, with it there. You can also do some interesting things with, you know, with fly-ins. So I could, I could grab this whole thing and, you know, we could do, a, we could animate it and do a fly-in from the bottom. And, you know, that's kind of cool. Um, there's a bunch of different things you can do. Hand cutouts are really neat. Um, and that's how you, uh, that's how you create a hand holding a document. Hope you found that useful. Thanks so much.